Hey everybody, so if you guys want to listen to a um a series called For My Man, um please stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to come on here and start this series um, that I have been watching on TV One, and I'm gonna be skipping around episodes because it's like um, it's sometimes it pops up, it pops up on YouTube and stuff like that. So it's just something that I just wanted to share with y'all, and um, I wanted to know if y'all watch this. This is my first time hearing about this, so I was like, oh, okay. So let me just introduce this to my channel and see how well it goes. And let's just see. So this is for my man series, okay, and um. I'm going to pull from episode 22, season 5, and it's called Road to Trouble, okay? So, let's get into it. So, I'm going to talk about, you know, um, okay, so, so let me know if you guys have heard about this or things of that sort, or heard this, um, it's not a story, this is really happened, okay? All right, so, um, it was an 18-year-old, um, I think her name was Shafa. Um, she was a cheerleader. Um, she was well liked by her friends or her peers. She was a senior. She was on a roll, and um, she was set in college, and she wanted to be a dentist. Um, she had college award letters, and so basically, she had a bright future in front of her. And um, you know, she had, you know, I believe she got accepted to college and stuff like that. But she had like stuff lined up for her, you know, to go on the right track and things of that sort. Okay. Um, so December 2016, um, she found a. Uh, 20 year old Shirelle Wesley. Okay, so Shirelle Wesley um, was a hip hop um, dancer and a rapper. And um, Shirelle was just released from um, prison for armed robbery, gunshots, and assault. Um, and um, he was um, in prison for two years. So Shafa um, had a soft spot for. Um, um the guy and the guy used to be friends with her brother but they were no longer friends because something happened i'm not too sure so um but they fell out and so they he hasn't spoken to the to the to the guy um so shava knew her family didn't approve of him so they had a secret relationship okay um so um they hid the relationship and he was hanging out in secret so shava spent every day with this guy okay so basically school was non existent okay um this girl was not about the school life anymore um she just was solely focused on this guy all right um so um she was infatuated with the guy um and he was older than her okay so she's 18 i guess he was he was about 20. d'angelo was um shirelle's um friend so it started out as like um, on July 12, 2017 at 5.30 a.m. in Vista, California, um, George, uh, George Keister, the detective said, um, it's in a rural area. And um, Keith, the prosecutor, um, said it was a dirt road. The worker saw a man slumped over, no shirt on, had blood and things of that sort. Um, there was no response, so the guy called 911. It was blood on the chest, so it was like three gunshots, one in the thigh, and I believe he had um, one in his head and a chest or whatever the case is. The guy, he was 21 years old, named De D'Angelo. Um, they found a receipt from a liquor store that they had went to at 12.30 in the morning, and the transaction was in San Diego. Um, so the police saw a fingernail at the crime scene and also saw some shell case, sorry, some shell case, sorry, some shell case casings as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, so her father had no clue that she was in a relationship with the guy. Okay. So she was really hiding this relationship from her parents because she knew her parents wouldn't approve because the guy was uh, a bad guy. Okay. Basically. Um, so they was contacting D'Angelo's family, the guy that, um, was killed. Um, police went to Wesley's residence and Shirelle wasn't home. Um, they told family that they were Wesley, Wesley fam allowed Shirelle, Shirelle, um, they allowed Shirelle to stay there, I believe. So Shirelle returned to the house and said that, um, D'Angelo was kidnapped and, um, by the mafia. 
He came out with some outrageous story and told his family that's what happened to D'Angelo. And then next thing you know, this guy vanished. You didn't see him anymore. Bruh. That's supposed to be your best friend and you come to your family and say that he got t that he was taken by the mafia? People, but God, do I can't. They didn't believe him. Um, so, um, um, because D'Angelo, they was best friends or whatever. So they put out an APB out for Shirell. And um, he um, he disappeared after he, he said that outrageous story. So, um, so that's basically about that. So, yeah. So, um, so the police um, detectives went to the um, place to ask the manager to review the surveillance tapes at the store. Um, and they were able to get a license plate from the car. And so they searched the license plate and the license plate went back to Shafa, which is the girlfriend. All right, so um, so as they was approaching the residence, they saw Shafa coming outside with some cleaning supplies going towards the car. Anyway, so she got caught. Um, so um, what happened? Um, they had a warrant to search her car and stuff like that. So they searched the car. They opened the car, the trunk. And um, they saw there were some items in there that um, led to evidence to the case. Um, Shava parents had came out as the police was out there and um, they couldn't believe, you know, what was happening. The father was thinking that it was something minor, but it was something that was murder. OK, um, so um, so when they did the search, they saw the sweatpants, the socks and the shoes and dry blood. OK, um, and that's the same items, um, that Sherelle had on her boyfriend. Okay. And the blue sweatshirt that they saw in there was D'Angelo's because D'Angelo didn't have a, um, a shirt on when they had found him. Um, so, um, they went into the house. They had a warrant for that to search the house. So they went in the house. They saw a black bag and the black bag had a 40 caliber gun in it. And, um, that matched the case, the shell casings that they found at the crime scene. Um, and they also saw alcohol swabs to, I guess they was gonna like clean the gun off, try to clean the fingerprints off these people, yeah. Um, so, um, they took her into custody, okay. And, um, so Shirell was walking, you know, just in the neighborhood, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, like you ain't just murder somebody, okay. And, um, so the police had, you know, saw him and got him and they told him to put the hands up or whatever like that. So another police car came and so they took him into custody or whatever like that. So, um, so the neighborhood had a security. So somebody had a, a security camera on their, um, on their house. So they viewed that, um, camera. So they saw them at 615 hugging each other. So they saw Shiva and Shiva, they both was hugging each other, whatever like that, like around 615 AM. So this was probably, this was right after, or, you know, moments after whatever, after they killed D'Angelo or well, he killed D'Angelo. I'm sorry. So um, when they saw the footage, they were together. Okay. So Shirelle puts, um, everything you know, oh, what was it? okay, anyway, July 17th, 2017, um, they, uh, they were arrested both for murder. He said he would never do that to his best friend. Um, you know, um, he denied that that was him in the video. Even after they said that was you, he still said no. But anyway, Cheryl denied, um, knowing, um, Shafa, which is his girlfriend. Okay. He denied that his so-called girlfriend and um they was like uh this is not your girlfriend like, you don't know her no no whatever like that they didn't say that's your girlfriend but you don't know her so he finally gives in and said that it was his girlfriend he said he would um never hurt his um best friend or whatever the case is he said um uh they were drinking this is his story okay they was drinking and stuff like that um and d'angelo got drunk and they challenged you to a fight so he said that shafa grabbed the gun and shot him or whatever like that and said oh what are you doing and so and he was trying to protect her, whatever like that no so he basically says shafa killed d'angelo and i guess you know just trying to protect him or whatever the case is Another bogus story, and it's just like, bruh, you done said that D'Angelo was kidnapped by the mafia to the parents, and then you come and tell this story saying that Shaf come on, bruh. So, um, so now they speak to Shafa, which is the girlfriend. So they told her what Shirelle said, and then, um, you know, so, um, so basically she realized that he didn't love her and that he was out for himself and things of that sort. So Shafa explained, um, you know, what happened. 
so Shirel, Shirel was plotting his murder, and he was asking um, Shafa, was he down with her, well, down with him, whatever the case is. And then she said, yeah, you know, being, you know, I guess the girlfriend or want to be down, girlfriend, I don't know. So, um, so, so that, that happened there. And so then, um, so, cause he showed her the gun and everything. He had a gun or whatever the case is. And, um, you know, she was getting abused. She was wearing makeup to cover her, her bruises and stuff like that. So she basically was scared of him. Um, and so that's what they were saying there. And so, um, he basically was plotting his murder because he said something about that. D'Angelo disrespected him or something happened and he said that D'Angelo was going to kill him, was going to kill Shirell, so he wanted to kill D'Angelo first before he gets him, whatever the case is. So it's just, it's just crazy. People just killing each other out here. So anyway, so, um, uh, so the, uh, so Shirell has been planning this murder, okay, um, you know, so Shafa, um, didn't tell anybody, okay, and, um, you know, so Shafad then, uh, let's see, okay, July 11th, they hung out, and, you know, they, you know, went to the liquor store and stuff like that, um, so, um, so she basically was blinded by love, okay, um, D'Angelo was asleep, okay, whatever the case is, so D'Angelo was asleep, so, um, uh, um, Shirell had opened the door, um, the guy, the guy, Shirell, the boyfriend opened the door and then, um, D'Angelo, you know, was coming out and he, um, Shirell hit him in the back and hit him in his head. And then he got up, D'Angelo got up in a daze and then, um, um, and then, um, D'Angelo kept asking him, you know, why are you doing this? And D'Angelo, um, you know, um, denied the accusations. He was saying, you know, that's not, I wouldn't do that. I love you. You know, I love you, bro. Whatever the case is. And then he heard, heard three shots. So, um, sh um, uh, what was his name? Shirell. Shirell had shot him three times. Um, and so he just told her to drive and he left him out there. Okay. Um, and her, and she was rushing to get into the car that her broken fingernail had broke, you know, as she was trying to get into the car. So, um, so she told, he told his girlfriend to go get her brother's or whatever nephew's clothes or whatever so he could change in, into it and stuff like that and say, get rid of the evidence or whatever the case is. So that's basically what she was doing, but she got caught doing it or whatever the case is by the police. So, um, Shirell, um, had first degree murder. So, uh, was charged with first degree murder and so was, um, Shafa and the prosecutor, um, offered a plea bargain to Shafa. Okay. Um, so October, 2018 was the trial. So Shafa, um, uh, testified, I guess, physical abuse. And, um, she was that, saying that she was forced. Um, she was afraid of him and stuff like that. So, um, Shirell takes the stand as guilty and, um, he got 80 years to life. Okay. 80 years to life. Just because you thought your friend was going to kill you, but you had to kill him first. Senseless murder. Shafa gets six years in state prison um, for voluntary manslaughter. Her life has to be wasted in a six-year prison when she could have just easily went to college. Okay? Um, this story, I mean, I'm sorry, I was all over the place with this story because I was trying to read my handwriting and <laughs> I said, when you can't read your own handwriting, but I'm just, I'm just going to say this. Okay. And I didn't even put a descriptive on the guy. The guy had tattoos on his face. He had like a big tattoo right here. Like I'm not discriminating on what people like and stuff like that. But me, no, if you got a tattoo on your face, okay, you got a tattoo on your neck, like it would look like a big tattoo, right? You got a tattoo on your face, please move, okay? Keep six feet away from me. I'm so, social distancing myself from you. Don't do that. Like, don't even try it because you will get rejected, okay? Then, nowadays, you got to have protection because people want to get upset and probably, you know, try to hurt you. So, as you're saying this, or as I'm saying this, I will have my pepper spray turned to the spray part, okay? And if you try to get gully, then you will get sprayed, okay? Don't come at me if you got a tattoo on your face. That looks bad. I'm sorry, I'm not, hey, if you if you like that look, if it's girls and women, if you if you ladies, if you like that, then that's fine. But bruh. Mm -mm. Don't even step to me. Okay. That's embarrassing. Unless you go get laser surgery, but other than that, no. And a tattoo right here? Bruh, like what was you thinking? 
you look like trouble. And then you was in prison for two years. I understand people will change, but for assault and, and robbery? And you want me to date you? I mean, I, no, 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 no. But at any rate, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I meant, hey, whatever floats your boat. But, I mean, <laughs> it got you six years, my dude, for killing somebody innocent. Six years, okay? You could have went to school for the four years, probably went back for another two years to get your master's, and you would have been set. And probably even going back for something else. But you chose the wrong route. I hope when she gets out, she learns the lesson that she needs to learn. <sighs> Sad. But, um, yeah, with these stories, it's like you just never know. And it's like, it's just so much that people do just to prove a point or just to, you know, I mean, love is blind, but dang, is that blind? And it's sad, you know, people have to lose lives to learn lessons. It's like, bro, now this boy got 80 years to life. All that. Now you're going to be in jail forever. Like, do people realize the consequences? I don't, what's clicking up here? I don't, I don't understand. Like, what, what do y'all think the consequences are going to be? Like, you think, oh, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off because this and that. There. No, you can't automatically think that. You know you're going, you kill some, you, you murder somebody. Well, For My Man is the series, and as I believe on TV One, I would not do this for anybody. I'm not being nobody's accomplice. I'm not covering up anything. That's not what I'm doing, okay? If you're into any of that, don't step over here. Because I'm calling the police. I wish somebody would do that and then I have to be in jail for like two, three years because because I want to follow you follow you for love. Come on, man. We gotta do that, huh? Y'all, please. Get your stuff together. Damn. Like, these stories be making you in a somber mood. It's just like, bruh, I'm thinking in my head, like, do I even want to do this anymore? <laughs> and I just started this today. Like, bruh. But at any rate, I'm done, y'all. So, yeah, so let me know how you like this series. I'm sorry, because it's, like, late. It's probably, I think it's, like, around 11 o'clock. I gotta get by. I gotta do probably, like, two more videos. And I'm out of here. So I will talk to you guys later. Let me know if you guys like these um, series. This is just the first one. Um, and, um, you know, let me know if, if you heard of this or have you watched this one or whatever the case is. And what would you do, like, in this situation? Like, it's like, it's like, what can you do? Like, she was in too deep already. I mean, first things first for me, I see you with a tattoo. Or you, I, I, I don't even want to deal with you. And it's like, okay, don't judge a book by its cover. But it's like, bruh, look what happened. She got six years, and he got 80. I mean, she could have avoided all that. And <laughs> she took your ASS to college, okay? Like, you threw your whole life away for that. For that dude. Now, look. Hope she learned her lesson when she come out. But anyway, that's all you could do. But anyway, I digress. So, yeah, so that's just me. You know, everybody different. But that's just basically about that. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Hit the like, subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. My energy was low. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Because, 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 because,